Oh, hey, officer, is it 69 in? You having fun? Apologies make lousy parachutes. All right, welcome to the Lone Wolfer basement. Um, yeah, in the basement right now because A, it's cold outside, like really cold. And uh, B, uh, garage is kind of full. Uh, yeah, got an extra bike in there and uh, there's really no room to move around and I don't want to move bikes outside to uh, do stuff. So we're in the basement and we're gonna do an unboxing video. So this is gonna be a bit of a lackluster uh, unboxing because honestly, the minute you see the box, uh, you're gonna know exactly what's in there. The tape gives it away. All right, it says here, do not use blades to open, ride, recycle. Well, that sounds kind of boring and uh, I like to live dangerously. Real question is, what color did I get? Oh, I went with black like everybody else does. I'd considered uh, getting a brown one, but uh, you know, couldn't really see it on the bike, you know? I tried uh, doing a mock-up in uh, Photoshop because, you know, I got some skills doing that. And uh, yeah, it just uh, really didn't do for me what I wanted to do. And if I had gone with the brown, I would have had to have gotten a new uh, sissy bar backrest and honestly I didn't want to spend another hundred dollars because the holidays are coming up and I just didn't want to spend money on myself Well, I didn't want to spend more money on myself than I just did. All right, let's get this out of the bag Why 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 would they do that? This happens to be my favorite new tool from Leatherman scuff why is there a scuff on it already get some stupid stickers yeah there's stickers on there they're not stupid they're just stickers nothing stupid about them now that's open let's go get it on the bike i'm gonna have to be honest i am kind of offended by these directions first thing is we have to say goodbye to the old seat goodbye old seat As stated by these directions, the next step is to rotate this fender tab 180 degrees. People always make this look so easy, recording things with one hand. Because I'm a bit of a nerd and a worry wart, I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on these guys. As you can see, the Loctite is not on the directions. These are tips and tricks from the Lone Wolf or Garage. Use Loctite. Mmm, that new seat smell. Time to see if this slipper fits. Like a glove. And it comes with this heavily branded Saddleman Seats rubber gasket to uh, help save your fender from any uh, scraping that you might have happen if uh, it wasn't there. And here we go, folks. First time I'm swinging a leg over this 2012 Dyna Switchback with my brand new Saddleman Step Up seat. Let's see how it is. That is definitely different. Feels a little, little solid, uh, as I read in multiple reviews. It uh, takes some time to break it in. We will see. It's narrower than my other seat, but that other one, uh, it was too cushy. It was just 
And after about 45 minutes, it just was flat, just flat, useless. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be warm enough for me to uh, get out there and see how this is. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check back in with you folks and let you know what I think. All right, it's a uh, very brisk, very lively morning here in New England. And these are my first few moments ever in my brand new Saddleman Step Up seat. Now, I hadn't been able to take the bike out because of how cold it's been. It's been down in the 20s. And that's just a bit too, uh, too chilly for me just yet. But this morning, it's 45 degrees. So it's not as bad. It's actually kind of warm, but not really. My legs are already very cold. But yeah, this seat is very interesting. Uh, a very different seating position for me. I think I'm actually gonna have to uh, adjust my mirrors a bit. Uh, I am a little bit higher. I am a little bit further forward. The bars feel more or less good. Um, they also might need a little bit of an adjustment forward. I got big old long arms. They're ridiculous. The, the seat is, is, is rather firm. I wasn't as prepared as I thought it was going to be for that. Uh, after reading all the reviews and watching uh, other vloggers talk about this seat. But compared to the other seat that was on this bike, I, I believe it was the original seat that was on uh, the Dyna switchbacks, but I'm not sure. It looks a whole lot like a Sundowner, but I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to actually look at the bottom of it now that I have it off and check the numbers. But it was just so squishy. Like I'd sit on it and it would just sink. And it was just too squishy. I couldn't stand it. So, you know, kind of like the whole story of the you know, three bears. Uh, I'm just looking for, for the perfect one. Yeah, no, it feels nice. Um, that the, the, the step up part pushing into my, uh, I wouldn't say my lower back, but like, you know, just, just above my butt crack uh, is, is kind of nice. It does help me, you know, you know, lean back a little bit without my back curling down. Uh, that's been a huge problem my entire riding career. Can't say I immediately love it. Definitely don't hate it. And sadly, I'm not going to have the time to actually break it in and get used to it. You know, that it actually takes um, just yet. Uh, the winter time is, is fast approaching. Uh, Thanksgiving is next week. And it's already pretty cold here. And the squirrels are very fat with very big fluffy tails and if you you know subscribe to uh the farmer's almanac or those old wives tales uh you know that big fat squirrels with big fat puppy tails often forecasts a very bad winter uh, uh i'm not looking forward to it if it's gonna be real cold it's gonna suck and as of right now, being in Connecticut, what is going on here? Oh my God, I don't know. Wow, he pulled it off. He did it. All right, wow, look at that. But yeah, the idea of a long, cold winter is never appealing to a motorcyclist. And uh, it is, Ugh. Yeah, it's, that's rough in my household because my wife and I are both bikers and we much prefer to commute on bikes and in cages but uh, i don't think that's going to be the case this winter i think it's going to be a little rough oh the back actually just as i got up to 45 50. oh that little little back area feels nice oh that's what they mean by locking you in that's what that feeling is oh that's pretty nice actually Huh, I'm digging on that part right there. That that step up part locking you in as, as you roll on that throttle. I think up here I'm gonna get a little bit more squirrely and just see how it feels 
to accelerate. Hopefully I have a red light so that I can just blow off the light. But it looks like I have a green. Damn it! Ah, all right, well, won't have that opportunity exactly. But I will bring it up to about 60 on this here road just to just to see. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice actually. All right, saddleman, step up. I'm getting warmer. That's a huge plus. All right. Yeah, because whenever I was on the old seat on this Dyna and I would roll on that throttle, I would definitely have to hold on to the handlebars. This time, my arms just eh, flopped there. They were just there. It was just just all wrist movement, all throttle. Didn't have to worry. My first initial reactions on this uh, chilly commute to work for the first time ever on my Saddleman Step Up on my 2012 Dyna Switchback. Uh, it is very stiff. I am hoping that uh, it breaks in, as people have said in reviews. Uh, I am not sadly going to have the time in the saddle to make it happen in the near future. But who knows, global warming might uh, take a huge step up with the way things are going. And, you know, temperatures might stay in the 50s and I can keep riding. But uh, if the past two weeks have been any indication, I don't think that's going to be the case. I do enjoy this lock-in feeling. Wow, you are such a fucking moron. Stupid fucking people. You don't need to fucking veer left to take a fucking right-hand turn, dumbasses. Anywho, back on track. Saddleman step up. The step up part locking you in gives a nice little soft, you know, cushion. Uh, just keeping you in place. Something that I have been missing on this here Dyna. Um, it is the old C just, you know, I felt like I was going to slide off every time. Not a fan of that. Um, it looks better. It definitely looks better than my old C did. The old C was butt ugly. Oh my God, Harley. You guys got to just stop with the crappy seats. I understand you want to sell better seats, but even your better seats suck. Harley seats suck. This Saddleman. I'm warming up to it. The future of my feelings on this Saddleman step up remain to be seen, but as of right now, it was a lovely commute to work. Even though it's a little stiff, it was still lovely. All right, guys, hope you liked that one. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, uh, keep on trucking. And if you haven't subscribed, do it!